All right, so today we are drawing a campfire for our friend Smith, who wanted to learn how to paint, Big, Big Smith, yeah, uh, paint a campfire. So we're gonna draw it first, and then we're gonna paint it. Um, so first thing we're gonna do is start on the bottom of our piece of paper, and we're gonna draw a bumpy kind of rectangle. It should look like, kind of like a rock. This is only what I can do. That's great. And then we're gonna do kind of a bumpy shape on the side. Kind of like a caterpillar. Shape. And we're going to do one on the other side. And we're going to do that again. We're going to do bump. Good. And bump. And we're going to do one more. We can do all of them. We're just, we're going to do I think one more on. See, yours is looking pretty good. I'm gonna do one more to make my a little bigger. All right, I think yours, yeah, you wanna do one more on that side? But good. I want it all the way around. But we're gonna have our fire right there. So, next we're gonna draw the log or the piece of wood that's in our fire. So we're gonna draw a straight line in the middle of the shape. We're gonna go straight across. And did you In the middle. And did you know your marker is brown? I know it is. And then we're gonna go up and out, like kind of like a curve, like a like a sideways rainbow. Good. And we're gonna do the other same thing on the other side. And it's okay if they're not the same size because it's a piece of wood and the wood's funny. And we're gonna draw a line across. And then we're gonna do another line that almost touches it, but doesn't quite touch. And then we're gonna draw a little stick that comes out of there. So it looks like our log is I part of a tree. Yep, you can close your shape, good. And I also made a corner. And then if you wanted to draw more little sticks off of that, you could. Um, we're just going to draw one log, which you could draw more if you want. And then we're going to make the fire. You ready? Yeah, I just have to make my face. You want to add some texture? You could add some texture to your piece of wood, but we are going to paint this, so uh -huh. we're going to maybe do that with the paint. So then we're, to make our fire, we're going to go, we're going to start at the top of our rock, and we're going to curl... Up. So we're going to go out towards the edge of our paper and then come back towards that and stop. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to curl out. Good. And then we're going to make a bunch of curvy pointy bits at the top. So we're going to kind of go zigzag down, zigzag up, zigzag down, zigzag up. And some can be ziggy zaggier than others. Some can be taller than others. Some can be shorter than others. Good. And then you just want to meet back up with that other line you drew on the other side at some point. Perfect. And then we're just going to make another shape like that inside of this one. It's a different kind of shape. So we're going to start at the bottom. And we're just going to do kind of another, almost looks kind of like a hand with kind of crazy, like witchy, witch fingers, doesn't it? Lots of fire. Lots of fire, yeah. Nice job, sweetie. I also wanna paint, do a tent. You want to draw a tent? Okay, well, we can, we'll do, we'll draw this and then we'll do that, okay? And then we're going to draw our horizon line, which is where our sky meets our ground. So we're going to go straight across. We're going to stop when we get to our fire and we're going to start back up at the same space on the other side. Good. And I thought we'd be maybe roasting some marshmallows over our fire. Should we draw some marshmallows roasting over our fire? Yeah. Alright, so to do that, what we're going to do, we're going to draw an oval next to our fire. And then we're going to draw 
two lines that go out towards the edge of our piece of paper. So you're going the other way than me. So we're gonna go out and out, like on the top and the bottom of the oval. Good. And then we're gonna connect the two sides so it looks like the end of the marshmallow with kind of a sideways U or like a, the letter C. Good. And then we're, it's, what is a marshmallow usually on while we're roasting it? A stick. Yeah, so we're gonna draw a little line out the side cause it's hanging on a stick. And if you want, you could maybe put the stick coming out the top, but not always. And then if you wanna have more marshmallows roasting, you can do more ovals, maybe on the other side. And you do two lines out towards the edge of the paper. Good. We do our C on the end and we do our stick. Now we're ready to roast some marshmallows. Maybe All right. we can find the We're gonna get our paint cake. ready. Okay, so now that we have our paint set up, so we have got our I've just got an old diaper pre-fold to wipe our brushes off when they're too wet. We've got our water. We've got a yellow, white, red, gray, blue, a brown, and a green. And the first colors we're gonna work with are the ones that are the easiest to contaminate. You know what contaminate means? The easiest to, 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 to go through. They're the easiest ones that like, the color gets kind of yucky fast. So, that color would be our yellows and our whites. So what we're gonna do is put a little bit of water on our brush and we are gonna just kind of get a little bit of yellow on our brush. Go ahead and get a little bit more on there. There you go. And we are gonna do a yellow shape kind of right next to this line we drew. We're gonna leave it white actually around the log, because when something is glowing, the hottest part is white, actually, not yellow. So we're gonna take our yellow and we're gonna go right next to this line that we drew, right. our, our inside line, yep, our inside zigzaggy line. Try to leave a little bit of white next to your log. Not color it. Oops, I actually... It's okay. We're, we're going to color the log a brown color, so you're not going to see the yellow at all because brown's darker than yellow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm going to have you bring that yellow up just a little bit more into this top shape. Good. And then we're gonna just rinse it off a little bit and dry our brush just a little bit. We don't want too much water on there. And we're gonna get- I need the rinsing. Yeah, and we're gonna get a little red. Do you wanna sit up on your knees so you can reach the paint a little easier? All right, get a little red on your brush. And we're gonna kind of just color in the rest of the shape. And it's okay if our red mixes in with our yellow a little bit. We actually kind of want it to mix a little bit. So I'm just gonna stay inside that line as best I can. It's okay if I come out of it a little bit. It's okay if we go right there. Yep, so we're just gonna basically color in the rest of the shape. Right. So everything above the yellow, we're gonna color. Keep going, yep, looking good. Try not to get any red in your marshmallow. Wait. Mm -hmm. That's so See how your red and your yellow is mixing like a little bit there, making a nice color. What color is that? What do red and yellow make? Do you know? Pink. Mm -hmm. What color do you see right there? Orange. Orange, that's right. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna rinse my brush off after I've colored that whole thing in. And I'm gonna take a little bit more white, not white, sorry, yellow, and just kind of make those two a little bit more blended. So now orange. I've made an orange in between, yeah. Let's pull your sleeves up so you can. There you go. You're my best lover. <laughs> All right. 
keep finishing your red. You want to finish your red all the way over here? Yeah. Oh, you're mixing? Okay. Mine's not really making. You might need to add a little bit. I think you had a little bit more red on your brush than I did. So why don't you get a little more yellow? Because it's really easy for yellow to get, just turn into red. That's a nice orange. You want to bring it all the way over to the edge of your fire? Oh and do some more red. And we are working with gouache paint right now, but you could use tempera paint, you could use acrylic paint, you could use watercolor paint, whatever kind of paints you have at home. All right. You ready to paint our rocks? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna make sure every touch of that color is off of our brush. So what I like to do is take my brush to the bottom of our cup and just kind of scrub it in circles on the bottom of the glass. And then I do a little wipe on the edge and then I actually dry the whole stick because sometimes there's water up where your hand wants to be and then your water comes dripping down your brush. All right, so we're gonna a little touch of water on our brush, just a teeny, teeny touch. It's probably a little too much. Dab a little bit off. There you go. Perfect. And we're going to get some of this beautiful gray color. All right. And we're just going to paint in our rocks. That's easy. And you could make your rocks all sorts of colors because rocks aren't only gray. We have white rocks. There's brown rocks. There's orange rocks probably out there. Um, I, I, I saw, I saw, um, um. You keep painting. I saw a rock that that was pink before. Yeah, there is pink rocks. That's true. And if you wanted to make... And pink dolphins. Yes, that's right. Daddy saw pink dolphins when he went to Ecuador, didn't he? All right. And if you wanted to make like your... You, know, you want to finish your rocks. Yeah, go ahead. Beautiful. Looks like there's a little bit of fire coming onto your rock. Cool. All right, and if you want to make your rock look like it's glowing a little bit, we're gonna take just a little bit of white and clean your brush off. We're gonna take a little bit of white and we're just gonna to touch the tops of our rocks where they'd be closest to the light. So put a little bit of white on your brush. And we're just gonna do a little bit of white on the top sides. Wait, actually the white is showing up. Well, it shows up once you have a dark color under it, right? So if you put just a little bit on the tops, on the side that's closest to the fire, it'll look like they're, they've got a little bit of light on them, and then the other side's kind of in a shadow. Very nice. All right, I'm gonna wash our brush, 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 brush. All right. Now, should we do our, oh, bless you. <laughs> um, I think we are gonna do our sky first and then our ground because we're gonna come back to our sky, I think, and put some stars on it after it dries for a minute. So we're gonna- I, 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 know, I know how to make a star. Now. Well, we're gonna, I think we're gonna do it with white paint. So we are gonna get a bunch of blue on our brush with a little bit of water so that it's not too thick. And move this down just a little bit so you can reach better. Okay, and then we're just gonna kind of paint, paint the whole sky, but try not to put any blue inside your marshmallow shape or inside of your fire shape. And just paint your sky. And if we run out of blue paint, we'll put more on the tray. And I'm probably just gonna go through my stick Got a little on your marshmallow. I know, I did, didn't I? That's okay. Still looks like a marshmallow, doesn't it? Just gonna try to try not to scoop the paint because we're not. If you want to to work better, then just put a little bit more water on your brush, and that'll help you pick up some more paint. Sparkly. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Sparkly. Remember, we're not scooping, just 
There you go. Like I need to put a little bit more blue paint on the tray, yeah? There we go. Get a little water on your brush. It works better. Oh, yeah, mix it up a little bit before we take it off the tray. I think this blue is called Ultramarine Deep Blue. It's a very nice dark blue blue. Kind of looks like a night sky, right? Oops. That's okay. Remember we have the white paint. If we have to use it, we'll use it. But I think we should, but white won't show up. It'll cover up the blue, remember? We'll just have to get our brush super clean. Try and stay out of your other shapes the best you can. Practice really paying attention to where your brush is going so you know exactly where you're putting your marks. Do your best. Do tell my students all the time whenever we're painting you kind of want to use the paintbrush like you're sweeping the floor you want to go back and forth you don't want to scrub it because we're not mopping we're sweeping so if you move your brush like you're sweeping the floor like you're moving the paint across the floor it is nicer to your brush and your brush lasts longer and it actually helps the paint go down on the page better. Yeah. Looks like you need to refill your brush though. You're out of, you're out of paint. All right. A little bit more blue paint here. That was a big shape to paint. Make sure you're adding water on your brush because that really helps the paint spread out better. You don't you just go like this. There you go. Get it all on there. There you go. Now you got a bunch of paint. Oops. Okay. Looks like your fire is glowing in the night sky. All right. You gonna do the sky under your marshmallow? No. No. You wanna leave it white? Or you wanna color it in? Nice job. All right, we're gonna wash out those brushes. Washy, 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 wash. We don't want any blue. We're gonna take a little bit of fresh water on our brush. We're gonna get our green paint. And we're gonna paint our ground. Not so bad. That looks great, sweetie. You mean not so bad? Not so bad with this paintbrush, I mean. Mm. Yeah, it's working out okay. All right. And, you know, we are drawing grass. So if you have a couple little pieces that come up over your rocks, it might just look like the grass is growing a little bit long there. Sometimes... Mommy doesn't quite get the weed whacker all the way around the fire pit and the grass gets a little long. <clears throat> and if you want to have a little extra texture, you could have your grass go up into the blue a little bit. Make some long grass. It looks like... Uh, um, um, it has marshmallow eyes and, and a nose. <laughs> it does look like that, doesn't it? 
<laughs> All right, so we're gonna, are you gonna finish, finish painting your grass and then we are gonna do some stars. I'm gonna go find two Q-tips to do our stars. I'll be right back, you finish painting your grass. It might be finished before you even get down. be the brightest part so we're gonna leave it white but we do need to do our log so we'll get a little bit of water on our brush yeah wash it off all right get just a little bit of green on there not too much or not green get a little bit of brown on there oops it's okay it's just close yep not right. permanent paint nope this is not permanent paint and then we're gonna paint our log so you can see my texture that I put in there is gone now. Ooh, so you need to add a little bit more brown to your brush. So try and get it up so it really gets in there. When you have it sideways, it's hard for the, there it goes. You can paint in all your little shapes there. Nice little log glowing in the fire pit. All right. Ready to do some stars? Yeah. All right. So I'm actually gonna just put a little bit of water on our white so it makes it a little bit less thick. And we're just gonna use a Q-tip and we're gonna make dots in the sky for some stars. I'm gonna do this. So you can do big dots by pressing hard, you can do little dots. By pressing lightly. But I want to do it. So you can do it however you want. I am gonna do the stars. Yours looks like maybe it's gonna be a constellation. So that's Oh, it. you're doing your stars that way. I see what you're saying, okay. Those are really good stars. You've been practicing drawing stars. All right. That's about it. And you could add whatever you wanted to this. You could add more marshmallows. You could add more logs if you wanted. All sorts of good stuff. Good job. Oh, and I was going to say, we taped these down with painter's tape so that when we take it off, there is a nice edge to our painting, which, <clears throat> which always makes things look very nice and neat. And I won't take yours off until you're done, okay? I'm already done. All right, so we're going to... Oh, actually, I want to do some more logs. Okay. Can I do it with Q-tip? Sure. 